What's up guys, welcome to your 124th Android tutorial where we're going to learn how to delete an entry. So what I want you guys to do is go into the SQLite example and we're going to go into our delete button. Again we're just going to copy which row we want to delete. So we're going to copy that string row which is going to be from our edit text row and then also our converting it into a long. Let's just copy that and paste it there. And then what we're going to do again we're just going to create a new hot or not object. So copy that, paste that. Um, maybe change these variable names to one, 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 who knows, uh, something like that. All right, so then we just have our ex.open, nothing new, ex.delete uh, entry, and we're going to delete the entry according to which row uh, we want to delete. So we're going to say L row one, and then ex. Uh, ex1.close alright so just change all those to ex1 for the most part and then we just have to you know create this method within our hot or not class so now we're gonna switch over to a hot or not class where this method has been created and all we're gonna do is delete our entry now so what we're gonna do is just say our database and again we've learned about update entry and all that good stuff this time we're going to learn about the delete method so again now it's just going to be our table name uh, which uh, ID we want to pat or which row ID we want to have so again we're just going to say row ID uh, equals or plus uh, equals uh, plus again and then whatever we're passing in so L row 1 and then the third parameter set to null. So again, it's pretty much the same layout, same concepts, nothing new. We just learned about this delete method uh, that we can use. So let's run our application. And actually, since we probably have some time since that was pretty quick, uh, what I want to show you guys again, uh, we set up something here to kind of proof check everything. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this catch clause for update here and paste it for each one of our get information for example we're going to paste that there and we're going to add a try bracket and then I'll just format it so you guys can see what's going on here so again we just added a try and a catch exception where we're going to print uh, the error for the most part and we're going to delete our boolean value that we copied um, and we're also going to do that for a modify and uh, again we have to add the try and delete our boolean value format and lastly for our deleting method we're gonna you know add the try and the catch exception and format delete and then also we need to throw an exception that we want to catch so we're gonna switch back over to the hot or not class just scroll up to um, basically when we use our open method that says throw exception we're gonna copy that and then we're going to paste that for uh, we're just going to paste that for our uh, get hotness get name and update entry and and also our delete so that way we can kind of uh, you know we can catch some of those exceptions which I'll show you guys here when we run our program I know I kind of ran through that quickly but uh, hopefully that won't be a problem um, hopefully you guys understand what that try and catch does, uh, which which or I mean where I pasted it I should say. So now let's go down, going to go to our SQL Lite example, and again we're going to view our database. We have two entries, Travis and Samantha, and uh, and first let's try to get an entry of row five, just get some information. And this is what we just created that dialog that says dang it, and it says it's out of the bounds because we don't have a fifth in and so that's kinda what we did there so now let's uh, kinda create some more entries we're gonna say Trav or Jenny um, you know she's nine uh, update and now let's view it we're gonna now edit uh, Samantha so we're gonna pull our information first so we're gonna hit two and then say get info we have Samantha here now we can edit it we want to change her to like a four and uh, and then we're gonna say edit entry and now let's view our entry as you can see Samantha's changed to four 
now let's delete Samantha. So we're just going to hit delete, which is going to, again, pull this ID and delete that entry. So now if we go to our view database, uh, Samantha is no longer there. And um, as you can see, you might have seen before, I'm just going to update our database. So it's going to add a few more Samantha entries. Uh, so one, two, three. And then we're going to view our database. And as you can see, even with Jenny, um, I had some more entries before and I deleted them um, but the next time you add an entry it's gonna skip over um, that entry and you know a row ID is still gonna be going up from that point so that's something you guys might want to consider and that's pretty much it for the SQL light database stuff and uh, we're gonna get into something else in the next tutorial not quite sure yet what but uh, alright have a good one guys